All right, it's the last time that we get to see this guy, if that'll uninstall. So say goodbye. Here's another, the same disc I've been using. Another 20 minutes to burn. And here is an OEM, a Dell OEM, but an OEM copy of Windows XP Home, which this should have on it. Yeah. So that should be it. I hope that's right. <laughs> I hope that's what I put on it. I'd hate to waste 20 minutes doing that only to have to friggin' burn another one, but we'll find out one of these days. F10 for the boot menu. Boot off of that. Press any key. And the wonderful world of Windows XP with, if not the last, one of the last text mode installers. You know, at least to start with until it goes graphical on you. Until it goes all graphical on you. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, anyway... We're going to let that boot in and see. Oh, you know what? Another thing. Some of these machines, some of them, had an issue with the card reader actually being enumerated by setup. And what that would cause is it would, for some reason, it would enumerate the card reader before the hard drives. And it would cause the hard drive to be like drive L instead of drive C. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. But it's, uh, it's obvious that the um, recovery partition is pooched. So I'm not going to bother to save anything from that. I do have the CD0 and CD1.ISO images that it created. Uh, there might be some drivers in there that I can extract. I can try putting those on a flash drive and see if it'll install anything. It, it, something, something tells me we're going to need some drivers and fucking bad. Set up Windows XP now. Press Enter. Examining disk. F8. I agree. Searching for previous versions of Windows. Oh, it found it on drive C. We're not going to repair. We're going to install a fresh copy. Press Escape. And we're going to delete, look, partition H, huh? D for delete, L, D for delete, L, or enter, then L, and then unpartition. But look, see all the unknown disks? That's the card reader. That's the card reader. All the drive letters, each one has a separate drive letter. A lot of card readers nowadays don't even allow you to do that. Some of them had like hidden drive letters, they only come up when you put a card in. But the older ones like this, these were fucking awesome because you could actually put like a smart media card and a compact flash card and an SD card and fucking have a, a clusterfuck, a literal clusterfuck of data running through that thing going in and out to each card and, and, and back and forth and shit because they're all separate drive letters. Nowadays you plug in multiple cards and the card reader's like, unknown device. I don't know, disconnect, and explode. Enter, format using NTFS quick. And that's it. We'll let this run. I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Think I'll go for a walk outside now. Something, something, I don't remember the words. It's the Brady Bunch. Think I'll go for a walk outside now. The summer sun's calling my name. I hear you now, I just can't stay inside all day I gotta get out, give me some of those rays Everybody's smiling, sunshine day Everybody's laughing, sunshine day Everybody seems so happy today It's a sunshine day Came back from my walk Now what's this shit? Well, the name is gonna be certainly not Bill Gates.
This computer's name is Johnny. What is this computer's name? XP Games, because it's going to Lexmark for that. Eastern Time. Date and time are just about correct, so that's good. Installing network. I haven't plugged my network cable in yet. The network cable. Oh, network cable. Ah, a network cable. A network cable! I love that kind! Yay! Well, we have link lights, that's a good sign. Typical settings, TCP, IP, and all that good shit. Yeah, next. And now it's going to go ahead and do the graphical part of the installation. Yay! Alright, this looks like it might be promising. <laughs> Famous last bucket words. So we'll click OK. Flash drive for some servers. And I'm not going to plug it in yet. I'll just park it in the USB port. We get to please wait. I like please waiting, don't you? At least they're nice about it. Okay, next. Help. Or actually not. <laughs> next. <laughs> it's not going to make a difference. See if Windows can connect to the interwebs. Uh, the lights are on solid, but not blinking. Oh, they're blinking. Oh, I like that kind. Uh, yes, we'll go through a local network. Next. No, not this time. And I'll just make it default, as I always do. Next. Finish. Because you always need to finish your spinach. And we are welcome. Allegedly. Yay! I don't have the speaker hooked up to anything, so I can't test the sound at the very moment, but I can get one of those kind and plug it in. It looks like we uh, might want to adjust the monitor. There he goes. We'll go over to my computer, and now you can see all of the drive letters for the Thingamajobbers. We'll put the flash drive in. We're not going to take a tour. And allegedly it's ready already. Uh, I have some dervers here. This is the audio driver. Just, uh, okay. See if this is going to work. Uh oh. Let's get Device Mangler open. Yep, see? I knew it. They always fucking do that. These high definition Realtek audio drivers under XP never fucking install right. Uh, connect to Windows Update. No, it's not going to find shit. I'll try pointing it to the flash drive, which is on, <laughs> see how cumbersome that gets? Drivers, audio, nothing in that, WDM, might. Oh, did we win? You mean he fucking won? Well, there's a lot of stuff populating in Device Mangler now. 
it was. Oh good, we get to activate! I love that kind! <laughs> we'll have to see if that's going to go down. Oh, let's make sure we installed home. Oh yeah, okay, so we got at least half a shot at it. Yeah, close that. I wonder if the activation thing is still valid, you know, still working on Microsoft's end. So allegedly the audio went in, and we just have that shit. Usually the SM bus controller you'll never have uh, any luck getting. And here is a LAN Realtek, which looks like it's, oh, there's something. I don't think we need it because it looks like we do have network connectivity. In fact, uh, oh, I guess I won't even bother. There is a network adapter, it does show it, so now it'll install the latest, oldest driver. <laughs> so there's that one. And then here's the fun one, the video driver, right? ATI, if you can see it, properties, 8 kilobytes, wait, what? Yeah, that ain't going to go down, and the README doesn't tell you nothing. If this is the Windows XP driver for this shit, for all these machines, install it. <laughs> There's nothing, you can't run it, because, and this is exactly as it was downloaded. That's going to help. Yeah. This, this ain't going to fly. All right, so the next thing is to see about what's on that CD2.ISO, and maybe there's drivers on there. So let me get that set up. 